This is Racer X with another video on the low C14 scale pro motorcycle dirt bike. I'm up to like I think eight or nine videos already. Anyway, let's get into this. For those of you who are having motor cooling issues, in other words, the motor thermals and wants to shut down real early or get too hot, on the inside of this plate here, you will see that it has a little little intake that looks like it's just plastic. If you take this cover off, there's a screw on the back side which takes the plate off to let airflow go up into the motor chamber and circulate here and cool down the motor. It should be enough depending on how hard you run, but if not, we're going to get into something else. If you do a lot of RC car racing and stuff and you have an RC car body or pieces from an old body um, that are polycarbonate clear, you can go ahead and do what I did. Um, I just did it just to see how it would work out. I'll probably have one made in real carbon fiber or uh, aluminum. Uh, thin aluminum. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, here's the intake. What it looks like is polycarbonate and then it's wrapped in carbon fiber vinyl tape to match the rest of the bike. And that's kind of how it looks. Hopefully you guys can get a good view of that. Let me pull back a little bit. Okay. And it is held on with double stick gel tape on the inside so it can be removed real easy and put back on real easy. And it's easy to remove. Um, like I was saying, uh, looks really good. Uh, the design I came up with uh, is like 100%, so everything's good, as you can see. Throughout here, how it all sits and rolls, and then your arm can still move up and down, no matter what um, downstop you use, so it doesn't interfere with the intake. Um, it's flexible, it won't come off. You can use Gorilla Tape, Gel Tape, or Double Stick Tape, um, whichever you prefer. Anyway, getting into the intake, let me see if we can get a close-up here. If you look up into the intake, it's kind of dark. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it's kind of dark, but I put an aircraft heat sink, which is low profile, with gel tape against the back end of the motor that has fins. So this way it cools it down as the um, air flows through the uh, intake. So in other words, it's ram air cooling for uh, brushless uh, RC motor. I've done this before on other uh, GP super bikes. So I figured I would do it on this because the motor wants to get real hot, especially in the summertime. In the wintertime in uh, California, not going to matter too much because it's so cold. Um, sometimes in the winter. So anyway, getting back to this, um, it turned out perfect. As you can see, yes, it's going to throw some dust, dirt, and debris up in it. Just take a, uh, a compressor that has a nozzle on it, a nice nozzle, and blow it out really, really good. Or if you don't care about blowing it out, just leave it in there because it's not going to interfere with anything. It's just going to be dusty and dirty or a little sandy in there. Um, but it's going to cool your motor down quite a bit. I mean, it's going to keep it nice and cool, even in hot weather. So this is a nice little design I came up with, and I'm going to go ahead and put it into small production. Uh, maybe eBay, maybe. I haven't decided yet. Um, it will be in either carbon fiber or thin machine 771 aluminum. And uh, don't know pricing on it. I may not even do the, not, not even do the design and put it in production. I haven't decided. I just finished it now and still haven't figured it out yet. But um, hopefully this video will help you out on this uh, setup here. And if you guys come up with the same idea or want to use my idea, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do it, whether it be manufacturing or just out of your garage or shop. Um, but this should help you out in your motor cooling. It should also help you out in your speed control cooling because the pocket is so big. Excuse me. Right here. And it acts as a vortex as the air is rammed in through here. And spins around here and then shoots it all inside of the um, chassis. So that should help you out um, in your cooling. 
Um, other than that, the only other way the bike's going to really stay cool and look even more scale is if somebody comes up with an aluminum chassis design, whether it be um, oval tube or oval solid aluminum tube or um, round uh, aluminum solid tubing um, all the way through and then make a jig, weld it up and then, you know, put it all together. Then you'll have a bike that looks really scale. It should be really lightweight and it'll probably um, be pretty damn strong if the person who's doing it knows how to engineer and design like me to make something like that. I'm not going to do it. I don't have the time. Plus, if I sold it, it would be about 350 bucks per uh, chassis um, to put on the market. So anyway, there you have it. And we will talk soon in the next video. Check all my videos out. Once again, be safe. Have fun. Enjoy. See you on the next one.